Assalamu alaikum my friend this is Mithalha again and this time I'm gonna just teach you how you can texture your tire what we made from the last video or class so okay so we have this tire we finalized this tire because this is low poly as compared to this this is beautiful but we don't we can okay so I have this tire okay so what we gonna do I'm gonna go to the Google images because Google images are my best friend because i am really bad in 2d art really bad so google images are my friend so i am gonna go to t uh, what tire texture and i'm gonna go to seamless and you can see a lot of cool textures are just come here for free these are free texture so I think uh, I like this one I like this one but this has a watermark or so I'm gonna go to Photoshop to like uh, uh, get rid of the watermark okay so this is the texture okay I'm gonna use it okay so I'm gonna go to file Sorry guys, this is my new world. Oh, look at me. Uh, oh my lord. I'm sorry, I'm a hilarious person. But anyway, so you're gonna go to this, go to copy your image and paste it. Control V. No, yes, there is the image. Photoshop is your like great friend if you don't no okay so this is this like this so I, i'm want to uh, like seamless because duplicate so what i'm gonna press alt 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 key and just drag him with our left mouse button and as you can see this not like he's looking like distorted texture so i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, click this layer press ctrl t and over right mouse button and flip horizontal so that's looking uh, now good so i'm gonna press this and this and control e to merge these layers and maybe i press no so control t again drag it like this so now that's looking good uh, select the uh, all control e control t and okay so that's looking good so what we can do press the m key drag a box and delete it we don't need that so this is our now tire texture so i'm gonna go to file save as you can press ctrl shift s if i press ctrl shift s our video i'm making is gonna so okay i'm gonna press that tire and press that jpeg save none okay so now jump to maya and I'm gonna go to Pratmos button favorite material I really like Fong okay so I'm gonna go to Fong press uh, the checker box because I want to apply the image on this uh, model so press press this checker box go to file press this folder go to desktop ASMR darling sorry guys I love her so tire so the tire has been applied but we can see because we are on the five key mode which is shaded display so three uh, four is wireframe it will give you your edges sequence how your edges are being laid out on your model five is shaded mode and if you press six is gonna press texture if you seven that's gonna light and we can see the silhouette but the six is a frame so we can see what the hell is this how 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 our tire gonna work so don't worry this is the uv editor but i really like this like the uh, uv editing workspace it's really good okay so i'm gonna press Control one to get rid of everything so i want this edge and this edge like this 
this edge and this edge yes this edge and this edge so i'm gonna uv map him according to this so there's a two method we can uh, use so first i'm gonna go to uv shell delete it or not maybe not delete it. sorry so what we're gonna do is we have to select the edges have we did it all right so i'm gonna press shift and go to front view maybe press f key now i'm gonna go to face and i'm gonna select all the faces that i need for our uv map that's good press shift again right mouse button perspective view f key now that's everything is good to go now what we gonna do oh we don't need this one this area okay so i'm gonna press tab and deselect this area okay so now that's it okay so what i'm gonna do there are two methods and i'm gonna show you both or i don't know so what you're gonna do you're gonna go to shift right mouse button mapping and cylindrical mapping or you can go to uv cylindrical mapping so that's uh, you hit the cylinder that's okay that's gonna go up what you're gonna do you have to grab this handle and just close it with his brother that's his brother so that's okay so i'm gonna press control one here as well so i can uh, see the see it clearly so as you can see it been mapped out so what we gonna do we have to unfold it so how we unfold it press shift key right mouse button and unfold bam look at this it means like like it's been like this the box is like this but like okay so i'm gonna press e and i'm gonna rotate it and press w and like this r to scale it down a little bit like this so wow look at our tire that's looking good so but this is looking way much like congested and we have to uv shell and we have to like go like maybe like this that's a uh, go like if it is uh, really long like your texture is really long it's like a rope or something you can stretch as far as you can and it gonna uh, it's gonna seamless because they are seamless textures i'm gonna talk about in any other video so you can see this is looking a little bit good we can use it but we don't have like this area like this area so we have to go to google again google is our best friend right now so i'm gonna go to tire i'm gonna just go tire and it's gonna show us a little bit images and like front tire that's good so as you can see the front tire is looking good so i'm gonna go to copy image photoshop control v control this too big so i'm gonna press control t and i'm gonna if you press shift down if you are using the old version of photoshop like i am uh, you if you press the shift it's gonna uh, okay so i'm gonna uh, get rid of this white you don't have to but if you want to you press hit the w key or you can do the magic wand tool and press d this press shift click it and delete it so what thing we have to like uh, we have to keep in mind when we are texturing that both uh, like both texture uh, has to be both texture has to be like uh, you know are like each other so as you can see both uh, should be matched so as you can see this is a little bit white and this is not this is really black so what we can do we can go and this area black so control m and put this curve a little down that's good 
so I'm gonna press this tire here okay control just so control no no control shift as file save as go to desktop because I'm a really desktop guy I'm gonna go to ty tire jpeg and jpeg so save as copyright replace it yes I'm gonna replace it so go to this go to our Maya beautiful Maya go to <coughs> UV shell and this and this as you can so UV shell are the shells if you go to the UV UV shell now this is the UV shell that we made but this is the UV shell that Maya created by his own so as you can see his UVs are messed up so we're gonna go to this and this you can select the each face as well but this is really easy so i'm doing it manual way so i'm gonna press w so now it's showing us that they are in the x-axis and the x-axis are up so we have to do a planar map because this uh, uh, this area is plain it's plain we can see uh, this whole area from the front view easily we don't have to rotate our neck to see what's happening on the other side so this is a plane so we have to planar map on the x-axis so we're gonna press shift mapping planar and projection to y-axis okay so there it is that's y-axis i'm gonna down and this precisely like eyeballing it you have to do eyeball okay so yeah mm, that's look like a tire to me <laughs> what you can say thing it's that look like a tire to you <laughs> okay let's look like a tire a little bit a little bit a little bit a baby He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world. So you can see the tire is here. It's a little bit, uh, some problem in this area. That's okay. That's look like a tire to me. I think. Like this. Bam! That's looking good the tire as you can see this just 360 polygons and we made the tire so how you think did you like the tire so i'm gonna just go to arnold sky don't lie render it how it's gonna look a little what is this don't <laughs> uh, don't be don't panic that's okay what are we gonna do in this area go to press and reflectivity and specular color to zero now it's gonna shows us a good render there you go this look like a tire to me now so guys that was the video i hope you like the video and uh, yeah you can make the tire by this uh, from just from scratch and you can use in your game because game android games need a low poly things so i hope you like the video thank you so much for watching my video i really appreciate that so bye bye